And now, back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. And welcome back this weekend to Inside West Virginia Politics as we continue to dissect the uh, West Virginia primary held this past Tuesday. I want to introduce Secretary of State Mac Warner, Republican of West Virginia. Uh, we'll talk a little politics in a second, but let's talk about how things went Tuesday night. Uh, I was surprised that we got returns so quickly and so completely because your office had warned us it might be a day or two or three before we have results that well, are final. Th th this was an unprecedented election, so none of us knew what we were quite getting into, but I am extremely pleased that the election went gr great. Uh, the results were in most of them that evening. Uh, we're now in that pr time period where I ask for patience, and that is to let the process work where the absentee ballots are still coming in uh, from the post office. So canvassing starts on Monday and then middle of next week's when we should have some final results. Yeah, I believe approximately 40,000 absentee ballots that were sent out have not been returned. As long as they're a postmark by Tuesday, they'll be counted, and then provisional ballots as well. That, that's exactly right. We had about 10,000 that came in on Monday, about 8,000 on Tuesday, about 3,000 yesterday. So you can see those ballots are coming in, but it is diminishing. And so I'm confident by Monday we will the canvassing will uh, take place and uh, we'll have some good results. It's today. possible we could have some races flip here. I know the, the uh, Democratic nomination for Attorney General is too close to call. I think separating uh, Sam Petzonk and uh, Isaac Spinagle is about 700 votes. And so there are enough out there theoretically to flip that race and maybe some local races too. That's exactly right. And we could have as many as 10,000 provisional ballots. So they're right, right in that number. You could have uh, something flip. But uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, typically, I don't think the uh, absentee ballots usually change things that much. Uh, whatever the trend is up until that time, but we'll see. It could happen. I know a couple of weeks ago we did a story about people who had sent in their application for an absentee ballot and hadn't gotten uh, them. Did you guys work through that problem, or were there still people we, out there that said, I still never got my ballot? We did. There was no <clears throat> systemic problem. There were onesies and twosies, some issues, and that could be anything from a post office error. It could be a clerk error, but uh, we're looking into that. But uh, no, there was nothing substantial that would cause the outcome to be questioned of any race that I'm aware of. Theoretically, uh, with COVID-19 around, if it's still with this in the fall, are you going to run the November election pretty much the same way? Well, what this election showed us is that we could do it. The clerks were determined. They, they worked hard over time, weekends, and that sort of thing to get it done. But when you have a, we had about a 35% turnout. When you get a 60 to 70% turnout, which may happen during the general, you just double the, the amount of uh, effort. So uh, let's stand by. The answer is yes. It can work. We showed it can work. It's a lot of extra effort on the clerk's parts. And by the way, a great shout out to the clerks. They did a wonderful job. Yeah, 55 clerk's offices in the state. They were very busy. Let's pivot a little bit to politics because your name is on the ballot in November. Uh, you were uncontested. Uh, you, you're renominated for your party, Natalie Tennant, who you defeated two years ago or four years ago, who served two terms prior to you as Secretary of State. She's running against you. She thinks this is a, a time to make mail in ballots a permanent option. Your thoughts? My thoughts is West Virginia has it right right now. By state code, the application process, the application works well. It tells you there's a live person on the other end, a current address, those types of things. It's in the primary and independent voter gets to choose which ballot they want. You wouldn't have that if you didn't have that application process. So I think West Virginia code right now fits our situation just perfect. So when this is all over, we would go back to not having the mail-in option? That is, there still will always be that uh, absentee ballot uh, application process and so if you have a condition that fits the medical reason then you would still be able to uh, get that absentee ballot. Let's talk about another issue. She uh, uh, is at least she's not endorsed the idea of same day voter registration on election day but she said it ought to be studied it ought to be looked at and a lot of the clerks are for it. What do you say? I'll say not a lot of clerks are for it. Talk to the clerks. The coordination we've had restored the relationship with the clerks and just think about this. How would they handle that in this current situation with all the other work that's going on to try to register people on the same day? There's a reason you cut off that registration a couple weeks ahead of time to give them the time to solidify the lists, uh, the voter lists, get the poll, works, uh, the poll books ready for election day. Again, I think we have it just right here in West Virginia. Not a lot of time, but she's also taken issue with your handling of the mobile voting app. Did you have any problems with it the other night? Is, are you confident it's secure now? Because there was a study that showed the old votes app was ne not necessarily secure. Well, uh, it depends on who you listen to. No, we are very confident in the security of the mo mobile voting. It worked great. 
people from 26 countries, from six continents got to vote. West Virginians in those locations were able to vote because of this. Think of this, the Postal Service did not reach 180 countries during this process. If you're in one of those 180 countries, you would have, you would have been disenfranchised. All right, Secretary of State Mac Warner, Republican West Virginia, he's on the ballot in November. We appreciate you being here. Best of luck to you as this goes forward. We'll be talking. Thank you. Always good to be with you, Mark. All right, we're going to hear from his opponent next here on Inside West Virginia Politics. Don't go away.